Hey, Kalahari Miniatures here, and this is going to be the second hobby tips um, in video in the series. Um, this one's going to teach you how to do a cork base. So what I've got here is a dwarf bolt thrower, and I have a little base here. This base is from the modular movement tray set. So um, that's going to be I'm going to be using that as the base for my bolt thrower. So kind of have the I'm probably going to have this just facing straight forward like this on the base. So then what you need are these pieces of cork that you can just get at your local um, Target or Walmart or anything like that. And you want to make sure they're broken all the way around because when you get them, they're in a sheet like this and there's the straight sides on them like this, see? So you want to make sure you've broken, broken them all around. So you want to have... a pretty big piece for your base here. I think this this one will be pretty good. I'm gonna put that say right there. So then what do I use for glue? I for these projects I use a hot glue gun. It's much more durable than your white glue or anything like that. And it's not as expensive to buy as using like super glue for this. And it works just so much better. It dries almost instantly. So that's my hot glue gun there. So what I'm gonna do now is take the hot glue and put it right on the bottom of this. Be pretty generous with it. Just all around. There we go. And just place it really wherever you want. And then press down really hard. There we go. So that's going to be our base that we're going to work off. So then just keep getting little pieces here and there. And all you want to do is just keep working them in, working them in, breaking them to where you need to see where you need to be. So I'm going to put that second piece right there. This just adds so much more character to your, your miniatures. You could do this for any miniature too. You could do it for a hero just to give it a little bit more of a dynamic look. You could um, you could do it to any cavalry that like they're jumping over some rocks or something. It just adds so much more to your model. Um, so I'm gonna put another one just leaning up against like that. There we go. Now, as you can see, this piece isn't that stable. So what I'm going to do is take one of these smaller ones. First, I'm going to squirt some glue down in there. Take your smaller piece. Wedge it right in there. There you go. Now it's nice and sturdy. Alright, so after you every couple pieces you lay down, you're going to want to take your model and put it on there just to check where you are. So we're pretty good. And you got to make sure like you have room for your crew and everything like that as well. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, just a couple more pieces and then we're almost done with this one. Um, okay, where do I want my next piece? Let's put one little piece right there. Alright. Press it right down. Alright, one more fitting. That's looking pretty good. Um, and then what you can do after this. So we have the base done. There she is. You know, we're going to add one more little piece. We're going to add a little piece right here. I'm going to break one of these bigger ones. Break it right in half. Put one right there. That looks like a good spot. And press it right down. And since this one still isn't that sturdy, we're going to squirt some hot glue right in there. 
just like that. That's going to go and make that a lot sturdier. There we go. Now she's nice and sturdy. Oh, camera's falling a little. There we go. Alright, so I think we're done with the base now. What we want to do next is...